A pillar in God's temple, December 23rd. Triumphant in the Spirit. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Revelation chapter 3 verse 12. It may seem wonderful to us that Christ should reveal himself to John as he is. Strange that he should thus address himself to the churches. But we should remember that the church, enfeebled and defective though it is, is the object of Christ's supreme regard. Constantly he watches over it with tender solicitude and strengthens it by his Holy Spirit. Will we, as members of his church, allow him to impress our minds and to work through us to his glory? Will we heed the messages he addresses to the church? Let us determine to be among the number who shall meet him with joy at his coming, and not among those who shall wail because of him. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Let us make certain our redemption by obeying the messages that he gives to his church. Christ bears to the church the words of consolation. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Revelation chapter 3 verses 10 to 12. Let us strive to obtain an abundant entrance into the kingdom of our Lord. Let us diligently study the gospel that Christ came in person to present to John on the Isle of Patmos. The gospel that is termed, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Let us remember always that, blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Verse 3. Signs of the Times, February 4, 1903.